Well, hello, hello to my dear faithful supporters. Here is one awesome slideshow, as you can see, with these awesome images. And these images you can find on unsplash.com. So let's see, guys, how we can create this parallax effect in PowerPoint and get this awesome slideshow. So let's begin with opening this blank presentation, layout blank, then zoom in a little bit this slide, this screen, then insert rectangle, and this rectangle needs to cover the whole slide, no outline, and you just need to change the color. Then I'm just duplicating with Ctrl plus D the first rectangle. And this green one needs to be larger than the first one. Then I'm activating this guidelines in view option. I'm rotating a little bit this green rectangle. Then I'm duplicating with Ctrl plus D this green rectangle. And I'm just changing color for it. Then as you can see, here I'm adjusting this red rectangle. I'm rotating it a little bit. You can adjust these rectangles the way you want. Then I'm duplicating this green rectangle again and I'm moving it to the right side so they will be symmetric. I'm changing color for it. Then I'm duplicating this red rectangle. I'm moving it to the right side as you can see and I'm changing color for it. After that I'm copying this first rectangle. Then I'm selecting this first rectangle, the green rectangle and on merge shapes I'm going to intersect. Then I'm pasting this rectangle first. I'm changing color for it. Then holding the shift key, I'm selecting this green rectangle, then the red one and merge shapes intersect. Then I'm repeating this, this same thing for the other rectangles here. I'm pasting the first rectangle, I'm changing color for it. Then I'm selecting, holding the shift key, the first rectangle, then the second merge shapes intersect. So as you can see guys, I, had, I have now the four shapes, then I'm pasting again the first rectangle, I'm changing color for it, and I'm sending it backward. Now I have five shapes here. Then holding the shift key, select this green and orange rectangle, go to format shape, and insert a little bit of shadow, I'm using this right shadow and blur will be 20 for now color is black then i'm selecting the blue rectangle and yellow here i'm using shadow to the left side then guys you need to click outside of the slide click the right click on the mouse and go to form a background and picture and insert the image you want as I said, I'm using images from unsplash.com. I'm inserting this image. Then select all of these shapes. You can select them by holding the shift key also. And then on format shape, you just need to click slide background. Then I'm selecting this first two shapes on the left side. And I'm just changing the color for the 
shadow and a blur and transparency too then I'm doing that again for this two shapes on the right side I'm choosing here again shadow to the left side but you don't need to do that you can just select these shapes and change the color and blur option after this guys I'm going to animations I'm selecting this first shape on the left side I'm going on animation tab and I'm adding animation here choose more motion pads then choose to the to the left side activate animation pane with this red bubble you can adjust this shape how far it will go start with previous duration four seconds here go to effect options a little bit of smooth start smooth end auto reverse and timing will be until the end of the slide then select again this shape and go to add animation we want to add another animation here grow and shrink it will start with previous duration four seconds change here effect options horizontally and in effect options we can choose smooth start smooth end auto reverse and timing will be until the end of the slide so this is the main part guys now i will just use animation painter select this first shape and click on animation painter and paste it to the second shape like i said with this red arrow you can click it and you will see this red bubble where you can adjust how far this image or shape will go then i'm using animation painter again to the shape on the right side and you just need to change effect it goes to the right so it's really simple you just need to create animation on one shape and you can just paste that animation to the other shapes and just change the effect options from left from right as you can see i'm using animation painter to the second shape on the right side i will adjust here this with this red bubble how far it will go then I'm selecting this first shape on the right side I'm clicking animation painter and I'm pasting this animation to this first rectangle with this first image here I'm selecting as you can see this rectangle and in fact options I'm using to do both sides not horizontally or vertically just to do both sides and adjust with this red bubble to the center So guys, that's it. I mean, the main part is finished. So you can see how awesome really it is. Of course, you can add text or you can add images and create your own slideshow. It's not really hard to create this by yourself, I guess. <laughs> then what I'm doing here, I'm just duplicating this slide and I'm going to format shape and I'm just changing the background image. I'm using the the different image here and when I choose this image it will automatically change to other shapes see it's awesome isn't it now you can change the color for the shadow but I'm deciding not to change it to this image then I'm duplicating this image again I'm changing the format background image as you can see and here this color for the shadow doesn't fit so I'm selecting this shapes to the left side and I'm just changing color for this shadow then I'm selecting this shapes to the right side and I'm changing their color for the shadow so guys this is it for this video 
I hope you can create a similar presentation by yourself. Maybe it will not take too long. Honestly, when I remember first time when I was creating this presentation before, I don't know, maybe one year, it took me maybe one hour to create it. And now I created this one for 10 minutes. So you can just duplicate this slide, guys, and change images. And you can create this awesome slideshow. And the thing I forgot to mention is that by the end, after duplicating these slides and changing images, I will use transition door. You have in transition, you have more options. You can choose whatever transition you want. I will choose for each slide the transition door. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you guys learn something new here thank you guys for your honest support it really means a lot for me i'm really trying to do my best and be creative and to learn you guys some new things and make easier these tutorials so you can create many stuff by yourself and simplify as much as i can so guys hear you soon in my next video stay tuned and never stop supporting me take care guys and hear you soon